I'm really excited about all my new Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars coming up after this. Okay, I know my Hot Wheels videos are probably the worst ones, the worst for views, but I don't care. My backdrop is a disaster, but I'm in this really huge positive thinking mode right now, and I'm just really excited about these cars, and I want to organize them and put them with the collections together. There are some really sets that really excite me. I don't know where to start. We'll get to Matchbox later. That's going to be a whole other story. Matchbox is my favorite. I do ha I have collected all of the Matchbox this year, and I do plan on collecting the whole collection. Hopefully that doesn't backfire on me. Uh, one of the most exciting things for me is the, the, the Hot Wheels Mattel Games series and I finally got the whole collection and because Mattel is definitely my favorite toy company and I don't even play games you have to have friends to play games with but I don't care these brands are iconic brands and I finally have the whole collection some things that I don't know about this are so these are the first ones that came out and these were easy pretty easy to find the Uno one is super easy to find Uno everyone knows what Uno is and then they had the eight ball car now I only found three different phrases I don't know how many does eight ball have eight phrases and maybe I have all three because I have found so many of these. I know that there is a treasure hunt or a super treasure hunt. Uh, still trying to figure out that whole scenario. I did find a treasure hunt though. But I found three. I guess that's good enough. I bought ones that were different just because the eight ball car, first of all, looks awesome in its own right. The chase one or whatever you call them in Hot Wheels, the treasure hunt one has a different deco on it, I believe. So what they also did here was they made a DOS car and they made it in different color and I think that's really cool but it is the same number so it's just a variation of the same one. So there are five different games in this series. So then there is that. And then uh, th this is really cool because I did get these all at the same time. Even if you add this one, because this the DOS one was a later one to the series, these are all in the same color scheme. So I don't know if they did that on purpose, but we have Pictionary. I am super excited about that one. I am going to open up all of these and make a Mattel Games collector room in my diorama and just put these on the shelf in Slate's house, and I think that'll be a fun video. Maybe more people will watch that. Uh, there's going to be so many Hot Wheels videos. Uh, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. So they had the red one, and then they issued it in the blue one, and I didn't know that this was an older car. I saw on Squirrel Stampede, he had a whole collection of older ones, so I think they even did metallic ones at one point. I think that they should do them in the Space Series. Um, we'll get to that soon. There's a new Space Series added to the mix of these cars. And then there's this Guster, and what is this? I don't even know what this game is. I try to know what it is. Oh, I didn't even bring my glasses with me, so I could read Mattel Games um, Guster. I guess it's some fart slime game or something. Anyway, it's a super cool car, and everyone loves this car. So this one is probably harder to find, but I have found quite a few of these. This is a whole collection. I'm pretty sure I have all the variants except for the... Super Chase. I mean, I don't count the bottoms of these, even if there are eight different ones. I do have three. That's definitely plenty. I don't even need that many. That's such a small thing. And then, and then the Treasure Hunt one, if there is one, that's beside the point. There is a new Space Series, so hopefully I have my Hot Wheels collection here. Yes, the ones that I want to add to it. So the ones that I found that are cool are okay we'll go with this one first this is the movie ones I always get however there are 10 in the series they do a lot of Batman and just like with Imagine Next I can't 
collect all of that Batman stuff. Sure, it's fun to have one Batman series, but when they make so many Batman cars, I definitely don't need them all. But every this one, this is a special. Uh, they call it number ten. They should have made it ten out of ten. That's interesting. Is that number 10 on there? I don't know anything about Minecraft. I love it. I loved when they put these ones out. I love that this one is special. It's just a cute thing. And I think my little figures from my little figure collection, which is something I also collect, um, we'll probably stumble upon those in here too. Um, oh, my God. I hope I'm not losing your, um, your attention right now. There are a few series that I collect and they are the dinosaur ones. Again, I think that would make a great collection room. And I really appreciate when they are in sets of five because it makes getting the whole collection attainable. And I need to put that with my other dinosaurs. So, okay, I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna stop getting excited. Um, I have this special space car. I don't know anything about this. I probably showed you that in my other video, but there is a new space series, and I'm probably doing this video all wrong because I don't even know where to locate my space series. So I think what I have to do now is pull these out here. Okay, donuts. I have two of these donuts. I need the brown frosting donut. It is an older car. Hopefully I will be able to find it one day. I have been collecting the X racers. And is that how I, racers, yes, see how they spell that. And sometimes they have five packs and at a treasure hunt, they have uh, really good prices, 50 to 60% off toys. And they had the five packs and I was good. They had them. They were probably, they would have been 250 for all of those cars, and I didn't buy it because I didn't like the designs of them. But these ones from this series, from this collection, one, two, three, seven. This one doesn't count because it's an older one. So one, two, three. Um, I like all of these designs, and I have an added one to the collection now. So number four is in. And that's that one. So these ones I like. That is really cool. And there was other ones I didn't like. Just like I showed you in my last video. I was disappointed with the Duck in the Glow series that I completed. Okay, so let me go down into here. And here are the dinosaur ones that I have. And I have an one to add here. So we get a different coloration of this one. So I'm happy to get that one. The one that I'm missing that I don't think is out in any set yet. It is a treasure hunt. I still don't know much about treasure hunts. If they make them in regular and treasure hunt varieties, I think maybe that might be possible, but it comes in this one. It's just in a different deco. This one wasn't in the dinosaur series. It was in like the beast series but it kind of will fit in well. I bought this one. So that's just a one-off because I don't always like all the Beast ones, but I did like that one. I didn't like this van, but because I am getting the whole collection, I had to get that one too. And because it doesn't look like a dinosaur, really. The other ones look like dinosaurs. So that gets added to that, that collection. Uh. If you watched my last Hot Wheels video, you're seeing a lot of the same thing. I'm trying to be really careful here. Okay, here is the Space One. So I think the Space One was a later addition to the series. I didn't know that they did that. So I just got number one in the last wave. And this is the most current one, which I think Canada was pretty lucky to get this before anyone else. So these are pretty new cars. And this is another space one. This isn't one that I would normally get because there's nothing really cool about it. This one is extra cool, but I am ex super excited to see which other space ones that they made. They should make that robot that I showed you from the Rock'em Sock'ems. They should make that in the space series, make it in white. If I was hoping that all of these were going to be in white colors and they're all going to look like NASA vehicles, that would have been a really cool thing for them to do. But I do like these colors, and I think that there's 
sort of some translucent or metallic elements. So not not the most horrible, not the most horrible car. Those I don't have to show you. Those I didn't get any. I didn't get any artist ones. Oh yeah, but I guess this one can go into the space ones, even though I think this one is from last year. Just a really cool Tesla. I don't know, should I open this? Do people open these things or did they save them? Is this worth anything? That'll go with my space cars anyway. Okay, this one, what is this? I don't even know, I don't have any of these dream garage ones, but it's the first treasure hunt that I found. And I was talking to some of the old men that were in the aisles. So one of them found one case before I found this one. Oh yeah, and this is one of the other things that for manifesting um, good ideas. I just had this feeling to go to the store. I went to the store, they didn't have it. But then I, something told me to go look at, oh, the shower curtains. So I did, and when I came back, they had brought out the new box. However, somebody had opened it up. I think they took out the microchip cards, because every once in a while there's these ID cards, and they have microchips in the bottom. They're really cool. I think that's what they took out of. Maybe they found the Chase one. There's also, I guess it's a, one guy found a treasure hunt in the same case, and it was a spider, and it had translucent stuff on. I totally would have got it. I don't know what it is or what it's about, but they didn't have it. Okay, this is this is definitely good to go into because now we're getting into. Oh, I do have another art car. This is a new art car, and I love old-fashioned uh, trucks like this. When they put deco on them, though, I don't like them as much, but because it was gold and cool, and it also matched this one, and this is also a type of car that I don't get, and I was going to start collecting all of these, even though I haven't noticed the torque ones before, where they didn't really pay, I didn't really pay that much attention to them, but this one was in shiny metallic gold and it matched this one. And that also, when they match, I kind of want to get them too. But that goes with my art car collection, which is in here. And you might have seen some of the other art cars. This is one, they recolored this one and I didn't get it. Those two, I love those because they match. But yeah, and I, I showed you some of those before. So I'm going to put that in here, and then we have some plain, really cool cars. These are two other new ones that I want to stick in this box because I do have some matching ones. So this was a redeco of this one. Did they? Is it the same number? Is it from the same year? Two and two, yeah. So it is from the same collection. They just did it in a different color. I like the sunroof on it and everything. It's a beautiful looking van. So it reminds me of uh, the hot matchbox that I like so much. And this also is a recolor. It's a uh, Volvo. And it goes along with my, my matchbox looking collection. So whenever there's these solid cover colored cars, I, I just think that they look so cool and real and I'll always pick them up so yellow ones blue is not a color that I like to get but everyone there's some if there's a van or something I can't help myself and apparently with red ones they apparently are my weak spot red is definitely my favorite color it just pops and that one is the same as this one. Two of 10, two of 10. So yeah, it is from this year and it is the same color. It's cool to get that in two different colors. And it's also cool to match them up with that. And hey, put that in there like that. Even though that's a different color yellow. But yeah, that's, that's the, cool, the cool collection thing. And I could have did a whole separate video on the Matchbox, but I'm just going to continue on. This is just going to be a long video. I'm happy. I'm having fun. However, I made a whole mess, and I'm going to have to clean that up. And I'll do that while I'm listening to a podcast. Everything else I showed you in the new video was just showing you the additions I had to the collections that I already had. 
So put those out of the way, and let me show you what's going on with movable parts, which I don't really know. But I love the movable parts one, and I talked about that, I think, in my haul video. And I have a pretty good collection of movable parts, but not really, because I don't think Canada got them all. So they have super fast. I put this special super fast one in here because that's where the super fasts are, and I don't think it really has a number for the Matchbox collection. But I've been collecting these ones, and I found some in the store in new packaging, and they looked familiar, and I knew that I had some, but I bought them anyway. I think I'm going to return them all even though some are, are redecos. And something that I didn't realize is that they're all redecos. So the five new ones that I found, which these are dated 2020, so I guess they're old and maybe we're just getting them at Walmart now. But I think we are always in Canada getting these cars late. Hot Wheels, as you can see, we get those really soon. But the Matchbox ones, actually some of the new Matchbox, we have been getting earlier. You never know. Sometimes you're really late in Canada. Sometimes we're the first to get them. But what I'm saying here, what I'm getting at here, is that some of these are duplicates. So I have had this car before. So I can take that back to the store. That was $4.00. Luckily, these new ones that I found at Treasure Hunt were 60% off, $2. I think that they marked them wrong because these haven't been in any retail in Canada, as far as I know, unless they're showing up and people are buying them all in the store. But when I find them at Treasure Hunt, which is like a closeout warehouse store uh, for returns from Walmart, we get things from the States there sometimes. So this one I have before, and then I realized that this blue one I had in a different color. But I don't think I had it in blue. And then I was realizing that something that I didn't really pay attention before, that all of the existing ones that I have of these movable parts I have them in different colors too, so they've been doing this for a long, long time. So another one that I have, now this is a new deco, and I really like the white one, but I do have this in a red. So do I keep the ones that are in a new color, or is it too much? The $4 cars, they can add up, like that's $20 for the set of five, but maybe I will just keep the ones that are completely different. This blue one I had before, so I guess I will take the existing one back to the store and save myself a little bit of money that I can buy other toys with. And then this one, I know this I have also had before, just in new packaging, so I could take that one back to the store. And then I started like looking around at my cars and I noticed that I've had a lot of these before. Like, are these the same? These are the same, just with different deco in different styles. This was in the super fast 50th anniversary one. And then there's this one. And then this red one. Is it the same as the blue one that I showed you? I wasn't even paying attention. And some of them are painted much better than other ones. And is that the one that I showed you? And then there's this one. And um, wait, is this one the same? No, that one's not the same. This is some of the same. But yeah, no, I'm finding that all of these are the same. Oh yeah, here's another one. These three are the same. What is up with that? I don't really need them in all decos. I haven't even been opening them. I do have some doubles of some of these, but I like them in their package, and I like them in the 
It's so I, I got to stop though. So I think the answer is to take them back. You can vote below and tell me if I should take back the ones that are the same, but in, should I just take back the, all the new, I have all of the new five that I've got. Some of them are exactly the same. Some of them are different colors. I should probably just take the whole set of five back and something else wrong that I did here is that I bought every single one that I found because the price was so good. I mean, I was paying less than a dollar for these cars. So I even bought the doubles. I wasn't paying attention to the ones that I bought before. I would just throw them into the cart as soon as I found them. So I do have a few different sets, but so yeah, this one's a funny looking one. I don't even really like that. But these I can't take back. I can't, I can't do returns at Treasure Hunt. This is the special one. And which one else is special? Why do I have one gray black? So these are the two special ones that I only have one each of. But I think I'm going to open up these for sure because, because they're at that closeout store that they have lines and stickers on them so I can just crack those packages open and have fun with them. But maybe these ones are good to have extra ones because then I can put them on my track because the cars get smashed around and I want to open up my new garage and I want to open up my new track. And I'm trying to be good, and I am collecting things that don't cost very much money, but my OCD and wanting to get full sets is pretty strong, but I did put back a lot of the new Hot Wheels. I didn't get them all. I made sure that I just got the ones that were really cool. I, this is the only one that I got that I really didn't have to get. I mean, I had to get the games ones. I, I, yeah, I, there's a few that I bought that I didn't have to have to get. Like I, I don't collect all of the art cars. And oh yeah, and there was a, there were a few like I said before at Treasure Hunt, there were a few five packs. They had an art car five set, they had a design five pack, they had um, glow tires, and I love the glow series. I don't know where I put the glow ones. I think I put those aside to make a video with. But I did show that in my last video, I believe that, that because that's where I got the whole collection of those. But yeah, I didn't like the cars, so I didn't buy them. That was really good. I'm just buying the ones that I really, really love. And a treasure hunt. I didn't. I wouldn't have bought that treasure hunt one either, but maybe that's worth money or something. I don't know. I love you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know if you watched this Hot Wheels video. I don't know if you did. I don't know if anybody's going to watch this, but let me know if you have any news, too. I mean, if you know anything. Like, I asked a lot of questions, and I, I don't really know that much stuff about Hot Wheels, but I like them.